They might need to be able to be in the firing range. So. <laughs> In Black Sky video, I jokingly made my class setup say that if you guys broke 30,000 likes, that I'd go back to this game and get Chrome camo. And not gonna lie, I know you guys can break 30,000 likes, but I, it's also World War II in Chrome. So I didn't know if you guys actually wanted to see it, but hey, it got like 50,000 likes, so here we are. So I was way closer to Chrome camo than I actually ever really thought. I only needed three weapons. The shovel, where we just did a couple of challenges, which is two more near-death kills, uh, three more bloodthirsties and picking up a weapon and killing the person who with their weapon five times It's super easy and followed by that we have the launchers I already finished the panzer shrek because it was pretty easy and already almost there And then the m1 bazooka is also the last weapon and then i'll have chrome camo I I'm, sorry It's not gonna be a super long like multiple part series But in this we just have to destroy four more streaks within 20 seconds of him coming out destroy five streaks in one match, destroy two score streak vehicles in one life, and then get direct kills and double kills. And then we have Chrome Camo. As I start recording this, uh, I guess Call of Duty just announced the, the season three roadmap. So for season three of Cold War, I know we're on Mo World War II, it doesn't matter, but we're getting three brand new maps, including Standoff from Black Ops 2. It looks amazing. PPSH, a new sniper, some sort of new AR or SMG, a new pistol, a baseball bat, and the ballistic knife there's only two modes i can basically play on world war ii right now and that's either horde point and that's because it's like the featured playlist or i play shipment shipment's like really good for doing launchers and stuff but for simply just trying to use a shovel no it really isn't come here there's one there's two come here come here come here don't ah! Dude, there's so many zombies why there's more zombies than players come here come here come here Woo! I got it looks like I got melee zombies while I'm at it. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. There's so many zombies. Can you chill out? Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm playing Oh Sit down. Oh, I, they're still coming. What is happening? Chill and there's look I was wondering why I couldn't find anybody all right cool There's more than one person on the other team, but everyone's connections are awful. I didn't expect getting bloodthirsties was going to be this hard with a melee weapon. Like, normally, I would go play shipment. Hold up. Bait this guy. Got him. Boom. Normally, I'd go play shipment, but I've tried to get, like, bloodthirsties with a shovel on shipment. It really doesn't work. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Got you. Nice. Who else we got? Oh, what the? Dude, I'm... Dude, listen. Listen. I'm about to... Get out of here. I don't even know how many kills that is. Maybe one? Oh, it's right here. There we go. Oh, they have another one. This is what I need. I need this. I need this. Hold up. Where is it at? All the way over there. I can't miss. I can't die. I can't die. Here we go. And I can't miss. I can't miss. Come on. Calculated. Yes! Woo! Okay, there we go. Perfect. One challenge down. Couple more to go. All the challenges that I was doing leading up to this was fairly easy. Like, destroying the streaks, getting the, the weapons done, even in Horde Point or Shipment. But, like, it's all of a sudden, it has become, like, the hardest thing ever. There's one kill. Nice. Dude, this thing was like a sniper. Two. <laughs> Bro. Ah, no, leave me alone, zombies. Oh. There's one. He's dead. He's dead. Nice. Come on, come on. He has armored on, of course. But he's still dead. I don't care. Oh, my gosh. I, dude, I, I tried, man. Turn around. I can't. You're, you literally have an armored shell. Turn around. Turn around. Woo! Broke your ankles, bro. I just need five kills. That's all I need. Because I want to get this stupid bloodthirsty done and out of the way. I'm stuck. Juked him. Nice. I need two more kills. One more. One more. That's all I need. Right here, right here. Boom. That's the bloodthirsty. Is that it? Is that it? I'm going in. I'm going in get five kills without dying perfect so i need to kill someone with the shovel pick up their weapon and then kill them four more times and then we'll have the golden shovel destroy one more streak within 20 seconds destroy five streaks in one match get the direct impact kills and double kills and we're done if we get lucky we can do this all in one match this could be it this is the final match unless every single person on my team is an absolute god this will be the game that we unlock chrome camo and i can either be excited or disappointed i don't really know at this point here we go right here maybe all right dead mp40 hopefully this was his gun dude this is sick camo what what is this fire as hell all right that's the same guy the him and i didn't get the kill enemy recon where's it at boom 
We're multitasking, boys. We're multitasking today. Here we go. Wait, is that the challenge? All right, boom. Another challenge done. Dead. Dead. Ooh. Got him. Okay, wait, wait. He's dead. Pick up his gun. I don't even know what that guy looked like. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Hey, somebody. Hello? Just... I need you. I need you. There it is. That is. That is him. That is him. Is that it? Wait, I think I need one more. Perfect. Oh, that was it. That was it. Let's go. All right. Camos for the shovels are done. The shovel is finally completed. Complete all camo challenges for the melee weapon. Now it's time to unlock chrome camo. Boom. There's another challenge done. That should have been our direct impact kill. Oh my gosh. I'm not even mad. I'm not even upset right now. Right here. I missed. This is awkward. Why are we trip capping them? This is no bueno. One kill. That's two kills. That's the double. Bro, I don't even know what's going on. Chill. Knowing my luck, I'm not going to get it done this game. I'm going to have to play like five or six matches just to get it done. Oh, right there, right there. Come here. Got it. Nice. I don't even care. I don't even care. Where's the UAV? That's all I care about. Get it? Perfect. I think I need two more. These double kills are going to be the death of me. One kill. There's one. And okay. One. Right here, right here, right here. There's two. That's a double. That has to be a double. There's no way it's not a double. Triple kill. That's what I thought. I did it better. One. Come on. There we go. I got it. I think I need one more. There's no way I'm going to get another one. They need to get another UAV like ASAP. Or otherwise, I'm not getting it. There we go. Perfect. I got a double. Is that... That's not it, though. The ball turret gunner. Wait, wait. UAV. That's it. That's it. Come here. Come here. Come here. Go. I got it. Wait. Is that the challenge? Please be done. Yes. That's done. Double kill. Double kills. Double kills. I think I need one double kill. It's perfect. They're trip capping. They're trip capping. This is actually perfect. Go. Cap it. Cap it. I right, got a hit marker. Got another hit marker. And he's jump shotting me. Dude, I'm trying my hardest. One kill. Right here. Is that it? That's it! Wait, wait! For all weapons, all launchers, the bazooka, come on! Chrome, is that, does it say chrome? It doesn't even, it doesn't even say chrome. What? Too much stress, bro. <laughs> I died 48 times. Yes, there we go. Diamond and chrome. Like, is it even on? All right, perfect. Here you go. Chrome camo. Honestly? Dude, I, I, there's always that one guy that has to ruin it. Here you guys go. Chrome camo. I feel like if you unlock this back when, like, this game was the current game, I feel like you'd be a little upset because I know I would. Especially coming off a game like Infinite Warfare and Black Ops 3 that both had Dark Matter camos. I'd be a little upset too. So do I think this is worth, like, the title of, like, having, like, a mastery camo slot? Not really. I mean, it, it's a lot of the heroic weapons itself already has, like, a chrome kind of, like, look to it. So it kind of defeats the purpose to really unlock this. Get absolutely outplayed. That was disgusting. Something I wanted to bring up is I remember that if you got to Prestige Master, you ended up unlocking these camos. I think it's like every 200. Of course, he's teabagging me. In all honesty, though, I know why this camo was a thing and why, you know, we had this over like a Dark Matter camo. When World War II initially came out, they were trying to make it like super realistic. They were trying to stick to like the theme of it being like a gritty war during World War II and all that stuff. And it just really didn't work. They started to realize as time went on that people don't really care for the realism and they didn't really care for the realism and we wanted like actual fun stuff to do, not just, you know, everything to be gritty, gray, and gory. Yeah, dude, I'm I'm going to clap you all game now. That tea bag is just what you're gonna get. There's one. Ooh, ooh. There's two. There's three. Quad feed. Oh, they stole my quad feed. On the topic of the realism, it's kind of why I'm nervous for the next Call of Duty. For those who don't know, the next Call of Duty has already been like leaked. And it's rumored to be Call of Duty, World War II, Vanguards. I don't know how I feel about it because I don't want it to be a rinse and repeat of this game. After the entire year was up on World War II, it was a better game. Like it did get better. But when it initially came out, it deterred a lot of people from playing and a lot of people quit playing simply because it was boring. It, they, they weren't having fun. Can I hit this guy? Got him. 
Ooh. Oh, shit. We're on a 20? My God. I gotta focus up. Let me get this V2 rocket real quick. There's one. Right here, right here. There's two. I don't know how many more kills do I need. Maybe, like, just a, I just need a couple. There we go. My personal opinion, my favorite era for, like, Call of Duty games, the ones that they could basically do anything. And there's the V2 rocket. Similarly, like, BO3. BO3 was in a simulation. It wasn't real at all. With that type of, like, setting and time period, you're actually able to pull weapons from any Call of Duty any map anything and basically have it as a sandbox and your creativity is endless where if you were to release a game that is set in a specific time period you're kind of limited to that time period and it can prove to be kind of problematic and i just got a quad feed <laughs> watch this the dude teabagged me so guess what he's gonna get teabagged back almost all of this is rumors and speculation anyway so like at the end of the day this could be wrong and the next game could be a future game or something that could be super unique and different that we haven't seen before i gotta call this in before the timer runs out i just realized where's the nuke at hello oh i didn't even see it where's it at hello so yeah that's a uh, chrome camo in world war ii i mean i don't think it's a bad looking camo it just definitely shouldn't have been like the mastery i think this should have just been like some some other sort of grind but hope you guys enjoyed the video if you guys did please drop a like subscribe if you guys are brand new uh the new season's coming out very very soon and uh yeah looking forward to making videos of that catch you guys in the next one peace